Ooh. Your medication. Yes. Oh, let me see. It's beautiful. But, but I think it's fake. No, it's real. What's up, good people? <laughs> the sun is so bright, right? All right, so I know it's been a minute. And I'm so sorry. I apologize. Um, but yes, I am still dealing with this uh, wonderful ear infection thing. Um, it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. No, uh, I am still dealing with this ear infection thing. Um, I'm, we're starting to think that it's probably my medication. I'll find out for sure maybe later uh, tomorrow or something like that. I'm trying to keep you guys posted, but I like it's been up and down. Like some days I'm good and some days I'm not. So right now I'm take trying to take advantage of the good day. So I'm going to try to work on this uh, turtle tank today because I wanted to get um, that horrible noise that you all hear in almost every vlog that we've posted this month with the trickling water. It, yeah, we got to get rid of that. It's it's so loud and obnoxious so we're gonna um go through the process of how we uh fix that noise and rearrange the uh turter tank Turter. turters so let's do that all right so gently don't smash it, but gently kind of drop it and let's see if it, if it splits. No, not from way up there. Yeah, let's see. What I wanted to do? The entire bottom just fell out. It's been so much. This, this is what smells like rotten food. This? Yeah, smell it, guys. No, I don't. Sm yeah, <laughs> he says smell it, guys. They can't smell it. Let me see. Yes, they can. <laughs> all right, all right. So we're gonna try to fashion something out of this. So we're not gonna break it all the way. We're gonna put these in the turtle tank. All right. All right. So. Um, as we're walking back, I'm gonna make it short, but um, so we came all the way on the other side of the um school because um, somebody's car in front of the um building's horn would not shut up, it just kept beep, 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 beep. So we came over here. Oh yeah, we didn't want to get nobody to get hurt when we uh, drop pots either. You see that little creaking right there? Yeah, I think this is one of those little creeps that made a mess in my tank. I don't know what that is, but it's about to be dead in a minute. I've recently cleaned the filters and it's still, it's always done this dumb trickle thing. It's a hand-me-down, guys, so it is what it is. The whole tank and everything. Eventually, I'm going to have to get the whole tank um, recocked. Um, but uh, right now, it serves its purpose. So I'm going to finish cleaning this thing and then get everything set up for you guys and let you visit with the turtles. Check out these guys. Look how big they've gotten since we got them back in February, guys. Aren't they amazing? Remember they were in this teeny tiny little cup? Look how much bigger Dagon Taka is than Razor. It's crazy, man, I swear. Now they're not my water puppies anymore. They're just like... Can you please put us back? We would like to go back. But I take this time when they come out of the tank to um, examine their shells and make sure that everybody's okay, that they don't have any soft spots or anything like that, or missing shoots or 
anything that's picking up or anything like that or because I know Taka had a spot that I wanted to deal with that I wanted to look at like right around in here it looked kind of funny like it was soft so I'm going to take a look at that one and um, assess its damage and what are you doing? Assess its damage and stuff and make sure that there's nothing crazy going on and stuff and make sure she's good to go and Jess oh my cute turtle babies look at that smile what are you doing why why are you she what is that that you see What do you see? He's looking right at you guys. It's so cool. What's that baby doing? Meanwhile, on the other side, Someone's dangling. Alright, so get a good look at this mess. And that loud, horrible noise. And don't mind that other noise in the background. That's just me boiling all the uh, pots we just broke. Because I, uh, I don't want no foreign bodies in the water. No matter how much we uh, decontaminate the water, of course the water is going to find something in it. But I just changed the filters and all that like the other day I don't want to find nothing else in it I'm going to clean all of this uh, hard water off and uh, probably try to de those bricks and this landing right here uh, and try to get that sponge uh, piece off of there that little red sponge off of there because it keeps finding its weight in the trap and find a better way to hook up their heater so that it stays submerged and not floating in the middle of the pond. And so we're gonna refix this so that that horrible noise will go away with the water falling on to the water and drowning out the television and everything else at night. So let's see what we can do about that horrible sound, that ghastly noise of the water pounding and then still make the tank cute and functional because uh, spider says he does not like the tank he says it's boring so we're gonna make it look cool All right three two one Someone is very confused. They're like, what is this? This is not what was here before. What is that? I'm confused. You still can't stretch. Uh, come on, honey, you can do it. There's a good girl. <laughs> They're so lazy. All right, so here's what I did. So I decided from the broken pots, I had something completely different set up, but it wasn't gonna work because we still needed to have this little perch here with these steps for um, them to get up to because they need to be able to stretch to get to their landing, even though they don't use it it needs to be there for them to use so we needed to have it for them to use <laughs> it's like what is this so um if the pot turns out to be a bad idea we can always annex the pot and then get something else in its place but at the moment um the, the tank is old enough i didn't want to have something super heavy in here 
for the tank so I um, just went on ahead and got a clay pot, a couple clay pots and decided that would have been the best ideal to try to zazz it up, jazz, 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 jazz it up in here a little bit. Um, for the heater to keep it in place because the heater tends to come up off the wall, we decided to um, take a pot and like kind of bolster it against the wall with the um, the uh, little hidey hole thing there. And I, apparently I still never got that red thing off of there. It just likes it. I done pulled that whole piece out and every time I pull it out, I, I can never get that red off of there. And I don't know. So hopefully Spider likes the setup. So what we did to kill the noise. Okay, so yes, that is a plastic cup. So what is going on is that the water won't accumulate, like it all it won't flow like a normal filter does, and all the water won't come trickling down like normal. It's nothing that we've done. It's not that it's dirty or anything like that. As you can see, it is clean. It has just been cleaned. It is rather clean on the inside. Um, I literally just cleaned it. We are missing one of these pieces right here, but that shouldn't stop the water flow from coming um, down at all. And it's it's just as equally as bad on this side. So when I have this on this side, the water is better coming out on this side. When I don't on that side, it's like this. So I don't know how that happens or why it's happening. It could be the motor, I don't know. We'll have to figure that stuff that out at another time. But um, on this side, what we wound up doing is um, we wound up taking one of the other mats that someone gave us um, with the tank. Well, it's not a mat; it's another do uh, another um, what do you call it? A sun deck plate, whatever you want to call it, for them to. Uh, um, bathe themselves so they can get some sun or whatever um and we just kind of wedged it in there to try to see if that would um uh help the situation with the noise and yes it did on this side but the other one we have is just too big and i didn't want to take up too much of their space because we've already kind of intruded in their swim space and um uh, Razor likes to swim. Taka not so much. And no matter what we do, they're they're gonna always try to squeeze themselves between the filter and the wall, because that's just something that they like to do. So I tried to give them a couple of more little climby spots, so that they can um, get out of the water um, a little bit easier. But um, all in all, this is about as good as it's gonna get, because it's an old tank, and I don't want to. Um, stress it out any more than it already is hopefully the heater stays in place and works well so i didn't want to cover it too much to the point where it wouldn't uh heat the whole tank you know because if it starts just heating the one space it might just say oh yeah this spot right here is warm and not heat the whole tank so we'll see how that works if it turns out that it's not working out then um i'll just try to see if i can find another way to get it to stay down because the uh, suction cups won't let it stay down so we'll see how that turns out all right good people um i know it's not a very long vlog but like i said i am still recovering so standing and doing all that extra stuff is still kind of taxing so uh tomorrow i'll have something super cool i think i've uh, found a little app for the last couple of days of October, I think we'll do some reading um, of those like uh, text, scary text stories. I found some of them would be pretty interesting. So we'll probably wind up doing that tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to get up out of here. Um, be sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and on Twitter. Until next time, stay beautiful. Oh, 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 oh,